In this video I'm going to show you how to use an analog PS2 joystick. For this tutorial you'll need a breadboard, an Arduino, 5 jumper wires male to male and a PS2 analog joystick. The analog PS2 joystick is a very versatile component. You can use it for example in your games as a controller but also to control a menu. The nice thing about this joystick is that it can freely move and it is analog. So that means that it doesn't only show you up, down, left, right, but also the amount of pressure in a certain direction. On the side you'll find a switch. So when you press the joystick you can trigger this switch. This is very useful when you're using this joystick to navigate through menus. For example you can use the button to confirm a choice. The joystick has five buttons from left to right, the ground, the vi-fold, then the x-axis, the y-axis and the switch. The circuit should be pretty straightforward. I'll put the joystick here in the front and then I'll start with connecting the ground with my black cable. from the first pin on the breadboard to the ground. The 5 volt is the second one and the third is the x-axis and we're going to use analog 5. And analog 5 is the bottom pin over here. So I'm going that as the third one the fourth is analog zero, like this, and the fifth is the switch which we're going to use on Arduino pin number 12. So now your circuit is complete, let's have a look at the code. So this is the code to read our joystick. First we define all the pins, which is 12, 5 and 0 for the analog ones. And then we set the initial values of our variables, which are for the x direction, the y direction. Remember these are analog values, so they are between 0 and 1023. The switch state is 1, which means high. And we start a serial monitor, we set the switch pin as input and then we set the switch pin to high. The thing is that the PCB of the joystick is configured that it's, the switch is always high and low when you press it. So keep that in mind. The loop starts by reading the direction of the X and Y axis and we do this with the analog read on the VRI pin and the VRX pin. Then we read the push button state on the switch pin, which we do with a digital read since the switch is digital. Then we print all the values on our screen. The thing is that we want to print switch pressed when the switch is actually pressed. However, as I told you before, the switch is high when not pressed and low when pressed. Therefore we use the exclamation mark, this inverts boolean values, so high becomes low and low becomes high. So this inverts the switch states we've read to be accurate with the switch press message. Then something interesting, uh, the analog value might differ from the center. The value for an analog read is between 0 and 1023. So one might expect that the center is 512. But the analog joystick isn't that accurate, so it's approximately around 512. And when I started my project, it turns out it was around 500 when it was uh, centered. To avoid any misreadings on the joystick, 
I used a margin of 20. So instead of saying when the x direction is lower than 512 or 500, I made it 480. And I did the same with 520. That means that 480 till 520 is considered to be centered. I did the same with the x, uh, sorry, the y axis. So when it's lower than 480, it prints down and 520 prints up. So we have left, right, down, up and switch pressed. So now we should be able to see all the states of our joystick. We wait 500 milliseconds to be sure that we're not overflowing the whole serial monitor with messages so we're unable to read what it says. So I'm going to connect my Arduino and upload the sketch. And now I'm opening my serial monitor to see the value of my joystick. So as you can see it reads around 500, 494, 504 and the switch state is 1 as we expected. Now when I move to the left, the joystick you see left, to the right, you see right, up and down. But I can also use diagonally and I say up right or bottom left. When I press the switch, you'll see switch pressed. So if your sketch is working like this, congratulations, you've finished this reading of the analog PS2 joystick. If not, make sure the pins are connected correctly. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below this video and I see you in the next episode.